Hi everybody, Dr. Emily here from the Evidence-Based Fitness Academy. I want to take a few moments to speak to you about one of my favorite exercises for targeting the posterior tibialis as well as for training foot to core integration. All you need for this exercise is your bare feet and a small ball. Now to start the exercise, you want to place the ball between your heels, making sure that you are below and behind your medial malleoli. Now when we do this exercise, you're going to start by slightly lifting off of your heels. As you lift off of your heels, you want to start to drive your heels together. That movement is going to kick in or activate your posture tibialis. I want you to make sure that all of your digits are pushing down into the ground, which is going to activate your long flexors. As you lift up onto the ball of the foot, keep the digits in full contact with the ground, making sure that you're tapping into your deep front line. You're going to slowly lower down. Again, release the digits, place them back down onto the ground, lift slightly onto the ball of the foot, drive your heels together to kick all the way into those glutes and the posterior tibialis. Keep the digits in full contact with the ground, lift, 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 drive the heels together, maybe even lift into the pelvic floor, and then release all the way down. Now there is a powerful biomechanical and fascial integration between the foot and the core every time you do that exercise. From a fascial perspective, because your long flexors and your posterior tibialis is part of your deep front line, you're actually kicking in your pelvic floor. So as you do this exercise, I want you to pay attention to how you engage the foot into that pelvic floor. The next way that they're deeply integrated is through biomechanics. Anytime you plant or flex your ankle and you invert your heel, you're actually driving an external rotation moment all the way up into your hips. So this is a great exercise to teach someone how to really release power at push-off or propulsion. So you're coming up, there's a spiral that's going all the way into the hips and helping you tap into the glutes. Every repetition, you don't have to actively squeeze your glutes. I want you to actually focus more on how you're doing it and you feel like a deeper stability which drives the glute activation. This is a great exercise for any of your clients or athletes who might have a little bit of a, a flat foot or a little bit of a pronation. It's also great for anyone who's suffering from posterior, tibi, posterior tibialis tendinitis or shin splints, patellofemoral pain, etc. any spiral related injury. It's also a great exercise if you're trying to train an athlete to truly release power of propulsion. For more great exercises and to learn about the Barefoot Training Specialist Certification, please check out ebfafitness.com and always stay barefoot strong.